without trying, y'all already know how we roll. All right, shout out without trying. Uh, big, big, big shout out to without trying. Without trying, game. Oh yeah, shout out without trying, man. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes shout out without. Uh, yeah, we de- we definitely rolling now, man. Hey man, let let them know who you are, where you you know what I'm saying, where you come from. My name is Lewis, man. I'm from Broward County, man. I'm from Florida, man. Y'all know probably know me from uh, Atlanta Street interviews with the Lewis and Lolly story. You um you know a lot of people been following the story and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying and um. Uh, so it's crazy, man, how me and bro actually got to meet, you know what I'm saying, because it's like, the whole time I'm messaging his page around the time, man, when I had ducked off for a minute for like a week and went out my life, and I'm thinking he was her ex, so I'm sending him messages, right, he had posted a video yeah, about I'm it. on a YouTube watching a little Atlanta Street interviews, right, so I see, you know, it's a little story about a dude and a girl on there. I go check the girl out because he put her TikTok page up there and I see she sing or whatever. So I was like, let me follow her and keep up with her. She sound all right. You know what I'm saying? So next thing you know, dude come in my inbox talking about all this stuff right here. You see, you know what I mean? Uh, You, uh, Miguel and this and that. He left his phone number, but I'm not going to post all that. But I don't know why dude came at me like that thinking I'm Miguel. I don't even live nowhere near Atlanta. People keep saying they see me in Atlanta and, you know, different places but it's not me i don't know who you know what i'm saying it's who cloned me or whatever the case may be but like i don't know what these people got going on man uh leave me out of this stuff man i just want to address this i ain't you know what i mean like you know ain't don't be coming in my inbox and my um my post if i don't respond to you it's because of reason like don't don't come at me and and you know thinking i'm somebody i ain't you know what i mean i ain't with it so just uh yeah, have a good day, man, and uh, blessings, man. Happy, you know what I mean, holidays to you, man. probably see it on YouTube. So I'm like, hey, bro, let me get, tell, tell her, man, hit me up. That's my number. I know you know how you get in contact with her. Yeah, yeah. You so he's like, man, send, so send he's like, numerous, so like, bro, numerous text. You like, bro, I don't know who you are, bro. <laughs> you like, bro, I don't know who you are, bro. Who are you? Right. I'm like, man, bro, like, stop playing, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the whole time I thought he was Miguel, you know what I'm saying? And sh- and so you know. Hey, do do I look like Miguel funny. or something? I ain't even trying to be funny though, cause. No, no, you, you do. Hey, bro, on on God, that, your picture on that on, on TikTok. That's crazy. Favor him. It be people be but saying I look you, like somebody, bro. You like you somebody you down the land. That's crazy, crazy, bro. And like I thought that was his page. A lot of his page, he be, he be having like kind of stuff like what you got on your page. You feel me? Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. So so, you know, that whole little scene happened and stuff. But you already know, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, man, like, I apologize like a man. You think that I was that wrong. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're trying like that. Yeah, I But, um, you know so at the end, bro, like, no, no, on social media, man. You hear me? Right, like, right. a lot of shit going on with this little series and this little stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, a lot of people sort of realize that at the end of the day, this is real life, too. This is not no just no series no no you know what i'm saying no saga like you know what I'm saying? this is real life you know what I'm yeah saying? yeah these real real, real y'all real this people is like real sh- <laughs> this is real shit this ain't no this story's a real story this is not no like play for play act for act story right right this is real life like real shit. so you know what i'm saying so boom you know i know you posted the little video when i was on tiktok and she had um told everybody off but but you don't want me telling people that you me. I'm like, you such a subliminal, I swear to God. Immortality. 
I don't know what that means. Mortality. Oh, y'all ain't hear nothing? Good, because I was snitching on the nigga. I was talking about how you me and shit. Yeah. For a week in a band, though. Not even a band, though. For a week in an Airbnb. I was like, bro, that's not enough for me. On to the next nigga. I'm like, oh, God. But I ain't going to cheat on this nigga, I swear to God, because... Yeah. See, you know, you know one thing about that video, right? You didn't come into yeah. the, you didn't come into the live till after she said that, right? But everybody in the live heard what she was talking about. But then you joined. You, I, I don't think you was there the whole time when she was talking about that at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Yeah, exactly. But listen, before that live, right? Before that live, see that live took place the day that Marcus came and got me. And took me to the Greyhound station and got me a Greyhound ticket. Oh, okay. Yeah. She did a live before that on TikTok and exposed the situation with Marcus. You know right. what I'm saying? If I know somebody has to have that recording in that video, and I would love to you receive it or, or you know what I'm saying, if you got it, if you can send it to his page or my page or anybody one of one of our pages, we really appreciate it. But at the end of the day, you know. It transpires with, you know what I'm saying, you know, live opened up and she explained that she you know what I'm saying that yes yeah, Marcus, you understand me? Which she did with Marcus. You understand me? Now I did an interview with Marcus. That's when I had on a red Nike sweater. I had a white face mask on and I was outside his truck and Lottie was in the back of it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you remember that interview when we was talking through the interview and stuff. And I was still upset about little things. He asked her. Oh, Lolly, um, if I get you an Airbnb for a week, um, your hair, your nails done, two hundred and fifty dollars. Right, Would right. you take it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So he throws that out there, right? So she's like, "No, nah, I'm not leaving, Lewis." Well, that same day, we got that Airbnb. You hear me? Right. And I got two hundred and fifty dollars, and she never got her nails done and um and all that there, but she got other explicit stuff. You know what I'm saying? To contribute to what you know she she like to do. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, in return, he got what he wanted. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the whole time. Wait 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 wait. Like, wait 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 wait. Run that back. So you. You pretty much was going in the in the Airbnb knowing what was what was gonna happen before y'all even went in there. Pretty I much. Well, the, the whole thing was about making content. You understand me? Right, OnlyFans. OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? So it was supposed to be which was, with, was, with, was, with Marcus's idea. It wasn't even my idea. So with with uh, all I, three. I wait, 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 wait. My idea it was never my idea. I never thought I only had. With all three of y'all? You talking about listen, with all listen, three of y'all or just you and her? And he was listen, going... Listen. When she told him, when she told him, hey, the little sister was about the room here now. When she said, no, she wouldn't leave me for that, right? So we get back in the truck. He's like, if you're going to be selling your body and doing this with Tom, Dick, and Harry or whoever, you probably would just start an OnlyFans page. Right. And if y'all are down for it, I'll put up the room for y'all to make your contact for like a week. And you know we could do it. It was a negotiation deal. You understand me? Okay. So the whole time, once Mark is seen that she wasn't going to leave, he still had his little finesse thing, tick tactics. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we are like, okay, only fans. He's like, man, that's, that's probably about the most money y'all can see out of social media period. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all do only fans right now, you could be looking at twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month. Right. So lot of things are real. I'm hesitant at first, right? And then I'm like, it, if I do do this, then she's not gonna try to escort. You know what I'm saying? She's not gonna try to come out and sell her body. I actually took thought of it. You feel what I'm saying? I took thought of this situation. 
So, you know, the situation turned more into like, okay, well, well we're going to need a cameraman. At first, he was, he was thinking he was going to be the cameraman. You hear me? Right. That's and I'm what... like, bro, I'm like, bro, that's I, I, like. Right, right. I, 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 you feel me? If it's going to be a cameraman, it's going to be a woman. I, I, I ain't, I ain't going to have no man recording me, bro. Right. Period. Right, right, right. Okay. Like, this, this, like, exclusive uncut. I haven't even said yet, period, on no interview, no number. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm down, you know, I'm down. So, uh, you know, one thing leads to another. We get back to the motel, you know what I'm saying? Well, first we got something to eat. We go back to the motel, you know what I'm saying? At this time, to be honest with you, I wasn't even with Lottie. Me and Lottie were together. Yeah. We were talking about just went and got her. I found her phone, they were broke, so I had to get a phone fixed. So really, I did that interview for Lolly to get her phone fixed. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, it all turns out. But, you know, before any all these other interviews, Marcus already shoots his shot every interview. When him and Lolly right there, each other, man, every time you're ready to leave him, I will take care of you. Right, if I right. get you a place, I'll, I'll take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he let her know that every time. Right, so, right. boom. Yeah, yeah, find that disrespectful being that Listen, that was your girl. Yeah, this whole time, the whole time, Marcus had a fetish for Lolly Period. Everybody knows that. Anybody that been following that channel since the beginning, that's why he always trying on sexual questions and all this. You know what I'm saying? So boom, it comes back on. We get to the um to the Airbnb and stuff. And uh I, I played out whatever, you know what I'm saying? They bust off and go do their thing. You hear me? Right. They do what they do. They do what they do, you hear? Me? I go to the store, go give me something to drink, go grab me some wraps, come back. We chill for the day. The whole time in the Airbnb. Um, one time. I didn't know he recorded it. Right. I knew nothing about no recording until later on when Lot told him about the recording. Yeah. I knew nothing about the whole situation with all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? The way he was telling her and all this other stuff. I, I didn't know nothing about anything. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, boom. No, once Lot told me about the situation. By him telling her to like, I'm on, bro. I told you what? Then she told me like, basically, bro. This man was asking her, "Do I better than Lewis?" You know what I'm saying? Do I better than Lewis? Is my bigger than Lewis? Why he already had the sex with her? You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Play up, bro. This dude actually asked that girl about a stepdad. Do you ever fantasize a stepdad? Do you ever fantasize a stepdad? How, how you know all that's true, though? Like, listen, listen. That's why I, why I put on the brakes at. Quote. Before I went live with this, you understand me? Yeah. I talked to Marcus. I said, Marcus, listen. She's telling me to record her. And she's telling me this and this and this and this. Marcus is like, man, come on. You don't know that. I snap on it. Bam. I hit the phone. Now, I hit Marcus again. Said, hey, listen. This is what's going on. You got the recording. Let me view that tape. And none of this got to transpire. If she's lying, then we can straighten it from there. But I know for a fact. Right. You see what I'm saying? I know this for a fact, 100%. They know if that's a person about it. But when people start to realize the lie, her, by lie, might be shocked, she might be crazy, a little piece. Yeah. But she doesn't lie. She don't lie like that, dog. You feel me? Right, like, right. oh, God, because she told me, she's like, bro, I feel real uncomfortable. Mm. He was telling me, asking me, you see what I'm saying? Because then he unprotected me, you feel what I'm saying? He was trying to have unprotected sex with her at first. Quote, understand that she just got killed. 
You understand me? It's not supposed to have sex for like a whole week. Yeah. And here it is, you try to have sex with this girl. Mm. I'm protected. That's crazy. On top of you know her drug addiction. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, like all that is just red flags out there. You feel me? So no, it was a lot of red flags out there. Now, when we did that interview in the Jeep at nighttime and we was talking about the OnlyFans. Right. We've already we was already in the in, in the Airbnb for like four days already. Okay. You understand? We in Airbnb like four days already. Right. He just held that to try to you know what I'm saying, uh, and just held it for a while. You feel before he posted it. I guess to let the views go up on the other things or whatever, and then you know we post that. Now, situation come out. I never was gonna expose Marcus to anything. Cause you wanna know why? But well, before I knew about the little kid, if Lava would have told me, hey, about the kid, I'd have brushed it. You feel me? When Lava told me what he said about a kid, like, I was here. I let him know you need to show me that tape. I want to see that tape. Right. I want you to show me that you didn't say this. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have this fantasy about a child or a kid, then guess what? to be exposed. You understand me? Right. So, boom. That's how this whole look ordeal came. You don't want to ask me no call. You, you, you ignore me. Okay, fine. Go live on IG. I expose him. You feel me? Yeah. At the same time, he's hitting Lolly up at the same time now. You know, you know, he, 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 they, they're talking. Right. He tells, and then, once I expose him, he tells Lolly, don't ever call my phone again. <laughs> Mm. Like, it's a lot of, like, that's it. Don't, don't call me no more. Don't call me. Don't y'all don't contact me no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I told him like a man. I ain't supposed to be exposed. Thank you so much. She brought this up. I gave you the opportunity to say, "Hey, this could be a lie." That's she lying. Mm. You got the opportunity to show me the tape. You ain't got a screenshot it to me. I go back to it now. It's straighten this out. This is a serious matter. You understand me? This is a serious situation. Right. So now. You know, Marcus say, oh, he didn't, uh, what you gonna call it? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't and all this extra shit. Which fucking lie. And I'll tell you right now, see, you was lie. You was a liar. You know you a liar. You know what I'm saying? Like, fool, when you do something, just that's what you did. Nothing was unconsensual, but like, he didn't force her for sex. He didn't do anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? He didn't peer pressure her for sex. Right. So, there's nothing illegal here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is just him at a point in his life where he just got so much going on and he knows how the ball would drop on him right now behind that because everybody already knows he's been chasing her, you feel me? Yeah. Quote. He gets the ticket. I get the ticket. He gets me the ticket. I go. I come from Atlanta, come back down here. Okay, let me, let me stop you right there real quick. What what made you want to, like, get up and, and leave from um, Atlanta? Like... Was it your situation or what you just, your family no, or what? what, what me, made me and I got into an argument and a fight and shit, man. And she was like, man, I don't want to be with you no more. And she jumped in the car with another nigga and took off. Okay, so when she jumped in the car with another other nigga and took off, I'm just like, man, you know what? She gone. She's part of the streets anyway. So I just, I, I, I just, I was like, man, I stayed like two more hours running around. But like, so I called Marcus. I'm like, hey, man, check this out, man. Hey, you can uh, help me out. He like, man, you like, what you need? He's like, man, he's like, I ain't got no money right now like that. I, I, I'm like, no, nah, I don't need no money, man. I need a, uh, like, I see that do me money because I'm trying to get a ticket to go home. He's like, oh, you want to go home? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm all for sending people home, man. He said, where you at right now? <laughs> oh, man, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fool, I'm in Union County, bro. It's at least a 45 to 50 minute drive from where he stays at to that motel, bro. Oh, that nigga was there. Hey, he was there literally, bro, in 30 minutes, bro. Mm. That dude was there in 30 minutes to come get me. Then I'm like, damn, Marvin, man, let me stop Let me stop over here somewhere, man. Go get me some of the blow, man, if I slide. You hear me? Right. Oh, man, that's late. I got I, I to gotta hear him get you, man. Come on. I got to hear him get you. They like, man, what we, we got to do an interview. I'm like, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I say, Marvin. My man just left before they she don't even know. I said, bro, I ain't do I ain't I, I ain't got you know say energy for 
You wasn't on it at that time. He's like, man, come on, man. You know you got a bad. I'm like, Marcus, listen, bro. I, I can't, I can't do it right now, bro. I ain't, ain't got to do it, bro. Feel me, so. I still had him doing the interview, bro. You feel me? Right. And you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, he gave me some great house things like ASAP. Bro, he pushed the first thing smoking from now. I, I, I was on that bitch 30 minutes. I was at a good place. Mm. That nigga paid for the expensivest ticket to get me out of here. Like, the next day, he could have waited for, like, the three, the, 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 um, the ticket that came at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. That Hey, stop, bro. I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these things I didn't catch on to. Yeah. And so later on, when all my fans and stuff started commenting, like, Luz, you know what he did. You know what I'm saying? So he, uh, he makes the, uh, bro, stop calling my phone, bro. So, uh, he makes the, what you call it, you feel me? He makes the, um, he makes, he makes it the next day. No, he, I, when I'm driving on 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 what you call it, the next day he goes back over there to where he picked me up at, looking for Lala. You feel me? Right. He didn't admit this on a live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when, when somebody brought that live's attention to me and I seen it, I realized, like, you know what I'm saying? This sound it right, dog. Fuck is right. You feel me? Yeah. Right. And then once I found out, Lala told me, you feel me, he was blowing her phone up. Maybe in I say, bro, like, this dude, that dude really was a snake, you know what I'm saying? But I still bypassed that. You know what I'm saying? I bypassed that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, okay, you just a snake. There ain't, ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even finna expose, Bob. You feel me, You that like that. And, uh, bro, I went to piece and everything together, bro. And that's sure what it was. So, that interview I did, right? The one where I, where I met the girl and stuff. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, yeah. That interview. That interview. You see the you see what he did? Nah, the what happened? Like he put, you see the, 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 the quote he put? Oh, this is Lou's. This, this is Lou's. This, but that's not my girlfriend. Oh, like, you okay. wasn't even supposed to put none of that up there. I talked about her. This is just a, a, a follow-up. Right. You put this so I could see it and I could feel like Jealous, right. cause he know Lot gets real jealous about me being with, with any kind of girl. Right. He put, oh, Lewis is new boo, and she's more, and she's more beautiful than Lot. That's crazy. So now nah, I'm like, oh, oh, hold on, man. Yeah, that's the, I see what's going on now. Now nah, and all my fans caught on. They told me they like, man, you know what's going on. And then you know, but Lot already exposed on the say she, 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 she fall, you feel me? Yeah. So I'm like. Everything's out there, so I'm like, man, it is what it is. I say, man, so my head, I'm just like, lie, you know what? I'm with you no more. Ain't period. That's how. Anyway, how you did, you left me, you know what I'm saying, for another nigga. Then you go to another nigga. Then you go to another nigga. Then another nigga. Type shit, you feel me? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm straight. I'm good. I made my mind up already. You feel me? Yeah. But, you know, when I broke everything down to me, like when I told him, I'm like, man, that nigga thought shit like, man, bro, that nigga was weird. That nigga was weird. And that's that when she told me. That's when I got to know everything about the, him, her act like a little kid and a little girl. And that's when, I, that's when I'm that's when i not like, fool, you a fucking, fucking snake. You ain't even just a snake. You a fucking You feel me? Mm. Like, real Like, you a fucking fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you say, hey, you can't, you can't let me see. You don't want to let me see the tape. You don't want to bring out the tape. You trying to lie and act like you fuck the girl. Like, fool. Well, I ain't got nothing to lie about you, but I, listen, I don't have nothing against this man. Mm. You got the opportunity, bro, to show me the tape. I will go back on social media, and I will apologize and say, hey, man, this man did not say this. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I told you. That's what I, I, I you got on my live stream and did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I will do it again. Mm -hmm. But now the dude, the dude's flake, man, just flawed, bro. You can't even, don't do nothing you're going to be ashamed of doing, bro. One thing about life... You're not a man, bro, if you're going to be doing shit and hiding in the closet. You see what I'm saying? Right. Everything's consensual. It's not like you did nothing illegal or wrong. You understand me? Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So that just goes to tell you, man, like, like, like bro, that told me enough. You know, but then I started, I started watching interviews. Like, bro, like, if you ever just watch the interviews with Lolly, bro, and him, bro, all he wants to do, bro, is just talk about fucking sexual shit, trying to get into us. Sexual, like... 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody know it, bro. Yeah. You know a pervert from a pervert, bro. Man, everybody knows a pervert from a pervert. Yeah, that's so, that's... you know what I'm saying? Bro, I need a... I need a yeah, that's yeah like, that, like, that's... She, um, that, that, that's, that's like the whole play, bro. So, you know, I, um, is my screen black? Blake? When what? I do that? Uh, I need, I need, yeah. It's getting a little, you gotta try, try to get under some light if you can. Nah, yeah. go ahead, cause they, they, they at Western Union trying to send me this money right now. Okay. They can have my phone, but I can't it. Yeah. Hey, uh, but, so. Uh, yeah, so. I, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, so. Fan, like, and now he just went live. You feel me? Right. You trying to expose, you, you expose and talk about smoking crack, but you the one funded her whole crack habit for that whole weekend at LBNB. You feel what I'm saying? You said, and, wait, and, 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 you and, said he went live? Listen, that, you said Mark? That man funded, Marcus funded Lolly's habit that whole week, bro. That whole week her habit was funded by Marcus. Marcus bought her that dope. That, I'm not saying, he, he, he didn't, Personally, go get the dope, but he personally gave her the money so she could buy purchase the dope. You feel me? So she could stay high, and and, and that's how that's how everything I love, bro. That's how everything I love. I don't think he want to come over and do. It'd be like, okay, well, how's the content going? How's the content going? Let's see what you guys got so far. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but dude, but dude, man, the real manipulator, man. That's why I say, man, when you're in a vulnerable situation, man, you feel me? And desperate times call for desperate measures, bro. You feel me? It's like that. But I do some real piece of shit, bro. He's a real piece of shit. Anyway, it's good. That F is my boss about it, bro. Like, I look at all these interviews with these women, bro. They're all young females, bro. Like, he, he has no, you know what I'm saying? Like, fool, you got no, no kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have no older women that's really out here in these streets. Like, you don't go try to help people. Like, look at this dude here. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't stop and get people like this. You know what I'm saying? Homeless on the side of the road. Stuff. You don't do that. You don't do that. Mm. People that really need help, you know what I'm saying? You don't do that. You look at all the young girls that you can ask your say and fulfill his sexual desires and fantasies. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what he does. Like, like, fool, bro. Like, a lot of people been up on him, bro. I, I, I ain't never look at him like. I just thought maybe he had a sexual problem, bro. You feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he okay, probably like young girl. But when I heard when she told me that situation about a little girl, now you talking about a, a kid? You know what I'm saying? Now you talking about some sickness? That's sick, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's some sick, my nigga. Sit down real. Bro. Bro, that's why I exposed him, bro. That's why I exposed him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nah, he, he can't he can't even come on, man. That man can't even talk to me on the phone, bro. I called his phone while he was on his live stream and he answered his shit. I think I answered the phone and he said, crackhead. He said, Oh, that's you calling me? But I said, put me on speaker phone right now, boy. Put me on speaker phone right now. And then he just is the call and is alive. You feel me? Type yeah, shit. You feel man. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He pretty much made a live about you. What, what was that on YouTube or Instagram? What? Yeah, that was all. No, that was on YouTube just now. Oh, Before this. I went live on YouTube. Wait, this happened. This happened today. YouTube. I went into his live chat. I went into his live chat, and I'm writing. I'm commenting on. I'm like, man, like, like, like shoot, why you lie? Just tell the people. You, ain't nobody say illegally. Ain't nobody say you. You don't say nothing. You did nothing wrong. You did it. You what? did it. All I'm asking you to do is straight in these comments that she's saying that you did, that what you were saying. That's all you had to do. You got the video. You can show me that video. Let me listen to it. You ain't saying it. Okay, I straight it. I go back on live and say, hey, man, look. This line. All she did was just He ain't never said nothing about no child. She don't say I like no little kid. None of that shit, no. You was pretty much trying to cover up for him to save his name. I did cover up for him. But right. the whole reason I made that, that, that pop up, but the whole reason I did that follow up, I didn't get paid for that follow up interview when he put with a girl. I didn't get nothing for that, bro. Nothing. Yeah. I did that just to go on live and say Law was lying about saying she f***ed up. That was the whole reason I did that, bro. 
Oh, my mama, bro. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to go back on my phone and see if I even got text messages regarding that, like, like where I could, like, show. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see. I'm going to try to go back later on, dog. But listen, that, that was the whole thing, bro. That's why I felt played, bro. Like I told him on my live, I said, bro, you know I even stuck up for you, bro. Like, like I, I stuck up for you because I felt it was up. Because you got the girl Airbnb and spent down a thousand dollars on cracking on me for the bitch. I felt bad. You feel me, guys? You don't expose nobody like that. Why, why, you, why did you even expose the man and say you the man on TikTok? Like, that don't make no sense. So, so you say she the hard right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yo, I don't know if she is right now at this second. I mean, what, I no, I'm on, talking about doing doing yeah, that, that time, doing that time. Yeah, yeah, at that time, yeah, dog. What? Yeah, she sure was. That's, yeah, bro. That's yeah. crazy. Bro, that's facts. That's facts, bro. Man. That's facts, bro. That's, that's wild. That's big facts, bro. Yeah, that's big facts, bro. Yeah. What's so uh? You know what I'm saying? Damn. So this, you said all this happened today. That live. That live yeah, and all that day. happened today. He went live. He went on a live stream. He didn't want to bring me in on the what you would call it. He didn't want to answer the phone, put it on speaker, hug up on me in his live stream. I said, man, I told everybody I'm going live right now on my channel. Yeah. And then everybody came on my channel on the live. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, bro. You, you got to get that yeah, YouTube yeah, channel yeah, together, together, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, man, you know what I mean? You, you you uh I see you getting up there, people subscribing and everything, man. You gotta get it together, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Like I say, man, you know, I'm gonna push this little journey I got, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to push my own room. I'm just trying to build myself back right spiritually, mentally, and emotionally right now, you feel me? So after that, you know what I'm saying? I wanna go on ahead of you know pertain to my to my interview and all like like, like uh, they shit real out here, but shit ain't no game, but like uh, real talk, like people really out here sleeping on the side of the road, no type of shit. Like look. Dude got one leg, the other leg right there. Yeah, go, yeah, hey, hey, go close up to that. Go close up. Go back. This is love for real. Hey, bro, go close up to that real quick. Go close up to them real quick. Go back. I want to show. I want to do. Go, go back to them real quick. I want you know what I'm saying. These people to see. You know what I mean. That is real. That real life. Yeah, man. And I got one leg on, man. One leg, man. Little leg over there. So I got. That's all you want to say, man. Tell people, man. Say, yeah, I, I got one more, one more. Yeah. I got one more thing for you before we get out of here, he, he man. Might talk, right? he, 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 he might want to come talk, right? Hold on, he might want to come talk, man. Tell the story, man. Oh, it's just like a little channel we got, man. Just trying to help people out, man. You hear me? Cause you don't deserve this, man. You don't deserve to be out here in this cold out like here. I wish I had an extra blanket to give you, dog. That's real. You don't even got a blanket. I don't like it. You got one? Oh, okay, okay. Y'all yeah, like, bro, it real, bro. Like, sad out here, bro. But you know what I mean? At the end of the day, bro, like, it's like, you feel me? Yeah, fool played, though, man. He played, bro. Who can't stand no straight in or nothing. Like, he can't, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's sad, dog. He sat down a lot. He got MIA. Hey, listen. After this shit hit the fan, you know what he did, bro? Who's I think that? he got MIA, bro. Ain't nobody been seeing him in Atlanta. And now his live posted in New York. You hear me? All the way in New York somewhere right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's a lot of going on right now, bro. Yeah. So, bro, man, I'm, one but, more uh, thing, man. Like you... I say, man, he know, one thing about Marcus, Marcus know, bro. Marcus know I stuck up for it, dog. You feel me? I went out my way, bro, to stick up for it, ass, dog. And uh, like I say, bro, at the end of the day, bro, dude ain't never did shit for me, bro. That dude ain't never did shit for me, man, bro, make a bag off me, bro. For this social media shit. Oh, you feel me? Right. Not one time to do like really try to help him, try to say, you know what I'm saying? Try to get an uh, apartment or something after that played or you know what I'm saying? Nothing, dog. Nothing. Nothing. Give a man. Try to crumb his up, man. I'm still, bro. I, I feel like that shit got me, man. I ain't gonna lie. That shit got me hot. Nah, bro, you know what I'm saying? That he had the audacity to put me on that line. I was trying to get on that line with him. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, um, uh, that's all good, though. It's all good, though. Yeah, that's yeah, good. It's all good, though. So, so, you had hit me last night, right? To, uh, told me to jump on the live, man. Let's let, let the people know what happened with that last night. You told me to jump on in, you know what man, I'm saying? That man, that I ain't even know that you gonna play like that. I just went on there so she could speak her mind about shit. 
for markets. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody know. You know what I'm saying? The confirmation. Because people hearing it out of my mouth, they ain't hear it out of hers. And then that shit just went left side. Because she fing around and put these two damn jits claiming to be her cousin, but really ain't her real cousins. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, all. She said that she said that was her real family on it. Man, that's not her real family, bro. That's not her real cousins, bro. Them not her real cousins. Yeah. That dude is not her real cousins, bro. She went to school with them, man. They just live like they know her mama. They went to school together. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like she know them for a long time. They live by her mama house. They really suburb out of Dorville. That was that was a. Them niggas from the project. Them from the hood. Was from Dorville, man, on a rich suburb side of Dorville where her mama stay at, man. Suburb, man. That's crazy. Them jits. That's where them jits from. Mm -hmm. They from the suburbs. They right. So why they say, man, your mama got a, a, a nice apartment out the thighs. Y'all do too. Y'all mama do too. <laughs> Y'all from the suburbs. Y'all yeah. didn't grow up in these streets for real. Y'all went to school, all that. Y'all didn't have clothes, all that. Y'all ain't for the streets. <laughs> Y'all ain't grow up in the hood. I'm gonna stop playing, man. That's crazy, man. You know, like, y'all street and shit. Y'all want no street with me. Y'all weren't really out here in them streets. Oh, mm. man, y'all boy grew up with silver spoons in y'all mouth, boy. Yeah, that's crazy. You planning on going boy, back yeah, to uh, Atlanta anytime soon? Uh, back to Atlanta? I mean, right now, right now, I mean, my, my, my main focus right now, bro, it's just like, you know, I, I, I want to push my movement down here, man. You feel me? With the homeless people down here and everybody down here, yeah. that I can start getting help. You feel, you feel me? Because uh, though it really ain't no channels down here like that. You feel me? Right. Ain't nobody really out here pushing no no movement out here. So, you know, I I, I want to work on this and then I want to work on my children lives matter movement, man. So it's like, you know, my main goals are move for children lives matter. You feel me? Like that's my main my main goal right now, bro. Children lives matter, bro. Like that's my that's my dream, bro. You feel me? That was my goal since. And the 10 years before I even, when the Black Lives Matter movement first started, right. I already had a topic in my head, bro, for, for Children's Lives Matter. Right, right. You feel me? So it's like, that's my dreams and my goal, bro. It's called a nonprofit organization, bro, for children, bro. Right. So I, I know, I think, I'm pretty sure you said you did time before, right? Yeah, I just did 17 years of prison. What, what was that for? Carjacking attempt. I had hit and run. Robbery, violation of probation. Okay. And what, what state? What state was that in? Just random states, or it was just in right one here? No, nah, Florida, right here in Florida. Oh, Florida. By that's so. Brock that's where you originally Florida. from, right? But I brought, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I wasn't born in. Oh, uh, I was born in Florida, but but that's where I was raised. I was raised in Bryan County. I was raised in Hollywood. Okay. So what? What made you venture off to Atlanta, anyways? To, to like go out there. Man, I had, yeah, and I slid out to Atlanta for a new start, man. You feel me? And my um, one of my homeboys was like, man, come up here and I stay with him and his wife and his kids for a little while. And then, you know what I'm saying? I had got a little job and shit. I was fucking up. Then I went to downtown Atlanta. I met Melissa. She took me in. I was staying with her. And then that's when I got the job at Waffle House and shit. Oh. And um, that's when I had met Lon. That's how I met Lon. So how everything else took place. You uh, feel me? Yeah. Okay. My situation. Yeah, bro. In Atlanta. That's what's up, man. But yeah, man, I definitely appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? I know you busy. You got some stuff no, going no, on. No, 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 no. I mean, everybody, man, they, they, you feel me? It's a voice for a voice, man, right now, bro. You feel me? A lot of people got their own input. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, got their beliefs, their own beliefs. You feel what I'm saying? All I know is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, man. Right. That's all I can say, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe, don't believe, man. In due time, everything in the dark comes to the light. That's all I can say. You feel True me? True story. Nah, that's real. You real talk. That's real. Nah, oh, like everything in the dark comes to the light, bro. That's so you know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> I'm just gonna send you keep pushing, bro. You feel me? Yeah. To keep pushing, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. I got my own channel now, so you know what I'm saying? I'm going to start going live stream more. You know what I'm saying? I'm start doing my own little interviews and my own little thing, man. You know what I'm saying? With these people out here. And, um... You got you got the, uh, YouTube studio app? Uh, 
Um, no, nah, bro, I don't, I don't really know too much about it, bro. I just really figured out how to go live. Look, look, <laughs> hey, hey, bro, we, we gonna, we gonna wrap off a of camera, bro. I'm gonna help you out, get your, get your YouTube, get you, mon make sure you get monetized and start eating off of that, man. Cause you, you know what I mean? You got a yeah, story, man, bro. Like, you got, you know what I mean? Yeah, you got yeah, people yeah. looking at you, man. So you, you deserve it to, to, to get paid off of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, 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 real talk, real talk. So yeah, we definitely gonna real chop talk. it up about that off cam. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Alright. Yeah, man. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely good uh hollering at you and you know what I mean? Definitely be safe yeah, yeah, out there. Nah, most definitely, man, most definitely, man. It was good taking in with you, bro. I'll be able to chop it up with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Do a little interview and shit, my people get better understanding, man, you know what I'm saying, of what's going on with the situation, bro, you know what I'm saying? Cause you do got people lost. So, you know what I'm saying? It was a blessing, you know what I'm saying, to be able to Shoot a clarification, you know what I'm saying, to all your fans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And your supporters. Yeah, I definitely appreciate that. Anything else you want to say to the people? Like, you got any advice for anybody that, like, you know what I'm saying, maybe out there going through some stuff or dealing with some, you know what I mean, some trauma or anything, like, you know what I mean? You heard me? What you say? I said you, you got a message. What you say? I said I said you got a message for the people out there. You know what I'm saying? A good message for the people out there that may be dealing with anything. Breaking up. Go hold on. Dude. All right, go somewhere and stop real quick if you can. All right, right here. I can hear you. I can hear good. All right. Now I was saying, if you got a message for the people out here, you know what I'm saying? Anybody out here that may be facing trauma or childhood abuse or anything, you know what I mean? Not good, you know what I mean? You got any advice for them, you know what I mean? Seeing as though you yeah, you man, out here, you on the streets yeah, for real. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do, man. You hear me? Like, I, I feel like, man, listen, man. Anybody, man, that's out here in this struggle right now, bro. If you're really in this struggle right now, you know what I'm saying? And you're going through this struggle, man. But, like, like I say, man, don't, don't never give up hope or faith, man. You hear me? Don't give up hope or faith, daughter. Every day I'm out here, you hear me? Daughter, the days I get rooms, the days I get help, but the days I go hungry, bro. You feel me? Like all day to day, bro. I ain't ate. I just ate. Just I just ate me a bowl of what's gonna call it from KFC type shit. Like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? There's days where you're gonna struggle, there's days where you're not gonna struggle, there's days where you're gonna make it, there's days where you're not gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? The days that you don't make it, just know that there's better days ahead of life, bro. Like, look, I'm, look at where I'm at. I'm at the bus stop right now waiting on the bus. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And then, like, look, like, look at, look, look at this. This here, man, this man has look, look at this man. This man lay right there. Like this man sleeps right here for real. Right. Like, 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 like that. That should be enough motivation, man, for you and your situation. Cause your situation probably is not as worse as his. You right. understand me? Right. And your situation probably is worse than mine, or it might not be worse than mine. But it's not about comparison, bro. It's about hope. It's about faith. Having hope, bro. You know what I'm saying? And just not giving up. Not right. giving up, bro. Cause if you from a struggle or any kind of real struggle, bro, like you know the struggle, bro. You know what you got to do. You know you have to push forward, bro. You know you have to break some change. You know you gotta, you gotta guide yourself, bro. You gotta guide to that light, bro. You gotta get there, and you got what it takes, bro. Like just, just keep pushing, bro. I know it's hard for some of y'all young girls out here, man. Some of y'all young women, or some of y'all women that's bonded through trauma, through whatever types of tribulations y'all facing. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's sexual abuse, whether it's homelessness, whether it's just, you know what I'm saying, mental health issues. Like, baby, keep on fighting, stay strong. Y'all don't give up hope or faith either. Always remember, bro, like, like, bro, your body, your body is your temple, bro. Like, on God, like, bro, man, you know, matter of fact, I'm still right now, bro. Like, I wore this shirt for a reason. You see this shirt? Can you read this shirt? I'm going like, let me see, I want you to read my shirt. Your body is a temple. On, on, on God, like, I want you to read this shirt. I'm coming to life. I want y'all to read this shirt. Let me come to life. Read this shirt, but this is a, for you women out there, bro. This is this, this this is a. You see what this says? Yeah, your body. Your body is, is your is a temple, not a trash can. Nah, you understand me? That's real. Your body is a temple, not a trash can. You understand me? Yes, sir. Your body is your temple. Don't defy your body, bro. You defy your body, you defy your temple. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just just keep that motivation, bro, and know that's your body, bro. It's not a trash can. Bro. It's your temple. You can guard your temple, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because every time you defy your body, you lose a piece of your soul, bro. You lose a piece of you. Little do you know it or not. I think so many women when they get raped, 
it bonds through so much trauma with them for the rest of their life because a piece of their soul been taken away from them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, for real, like, 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 bro, people fail to look at it. If you look at it in a spiritual manner or whether you look at it in a regular manner, bro, your body should exactly, man. Y'all women's out here are queens, man. For real, like, real talk, like, 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 honor yourself, bro. Honor yourself. I agree with honor that. Honor that name, bro, and honor your king, bro. You got a man, honor your king. You know what I'm saying? Be real to your king. Give your king that chance. If he shows you any other type of way, he cheats on you, that's different. But stand firm, man. Well, anybody else gonna stand firm and be loyal to you. Feel me? Because loyalty is hard to abide by these days. It really is. But loyalty is hard to come by these days. Very, extremely hard. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna close it like that right there, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely appreciate you, brother. No, yeah, man, most definitely, man. And all you fans and followers, man, I, I appreciate y'all time, man. Like, real talk. Let them, let them know how they can find you. Yeah, man, Um, my YouTube channel's Truly Blessed with three S's. My Instagram page is Lou Perez, L-U-P-E-R-E-Z 2157. Okay. My TikTok page, I do not know offhand. But if you hit my, if you hit, if you go on my I get, I, I get, I get all that up there for you. You feel me? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, we yeah, get that yeah, all yeah. up there. I put yeah, it in, yeah. in so the link. Get so. it for you, man. Y'all want to follow me, man? Follow me, man. Cause I'm on a real journey right now. You hear me? Like I'm on a real, real journey right now. And this is a real life journey. You hear me? That's what I'm talking about. Like none of this is play, play. Like real shit. This is real life right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And thank y'all, man. I appreciate everybody that's following, bro. Everybody that's viewing. Everybody that's commenting. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is real life, though, bro. It's real life. That's All right, I'm dude, I'm, uh, I'm bust out, man. We signing out. Go ahead, shout that shout out without trying for me. What you said? Go ahead, give me a shout out for without trying. Shout out without trying for me. Oh, yeah, shout out without trying, man. Yeah, yeah, two times shout out without trying, man. My you man. Follow that boy on Instagram, too. You feel me? Please. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have my followers on, on my end, you know what I'm saying? Posting up, man. But shout out to that boy, man. Shout out to that boy. Everybody else up is higher pushing. You know, that YouTube channels, man. That's on some real shit, like a positive shit. Like, shout out to y'all, man, for real. That's what's up, man. All right, so I'm out of here, man. We're going to get it together.